Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're going to talk about new releases 2024. Um, I've got in here full bottles, samples, travel sizes. I uh, actually have way, way much more than what I'm going to feature in this video, but it's way too much. First of all, like we don't want to be here two hours. Second, for some fragrances that are actually not even released yet, okay, uh, so I don't have the notes. Like, I can tell you what I smell, but then I'm, that might not be 100% accurate. So I'm just going to wait until I find the notes or until the brands are telling me the notes so I can feature them properly. I've got in here, like I said, just new releases for 2024. Okay. Some of them, actually, I received them right before I left for exams. So I didn't have a chance to test them properly, wear them properly, and then others I got them I got them at Exans. We're gonna have today only eight fragrances. I'm gonna do probably two other videos because I've got one with like new discoveries that are not necessarily new releases but new discoveries that you need to know about. You need to know about. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna have another one with more new releases. I just cannot fit everything in one video. And then like I said, I'm I'm still waiting for some parcels to arrive as well. I got, I bought myself some Middle Eastern fragrances because I know they're very, very popular recently. So I said, you know what, let me try them. So I bought like, I don't know, six, seven, some, something like that. I'm still waiting for them to arrive. Uh, but yeah, today new releases, eight more exactly. Um, if you want to know more, keep watching. Okay. If you like this video, don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And now let's jump in. All right. We're going to start with the ones that I received before i went to exans just to make it clear all of this were gifted to me okay um i don't like to hide that i don't like to be like i got it i just got it somehow it just appeared in my collection they either send it to me or they, or they gifted to me during exans uh, like i said the more bronze another video is gonna come probably next week when i have the notes when i know everything let's talk about i do have others Bear in mind, I do have others that I received either before or during exams, but I don't like them. Like, I kind of try to tell them, like, no, it's fine, it's fine, you can just give me a sample, it's fine. Honestly, like, my colleague, it's, it's fine, don't, don't worry, it's, it's fine, don't, but they insisted. So, well, not unfortunately gonna feature them in here because I generally do not like them and I don't like to feature fragrances that I don't like. Uh, but yeah, the others, but they're not gonna be in here. Anyway. Let's start with probably the weirdest and the most unique fragrance I have in my collection. And somehow I really like it. Like I did not expect to like this fragrance, but I actually really enjoy it. That is from Boho Boko. This one is Magic Mushroom. I love the color of the juice because it changes. Like I got a bottle literally the day before exams and I didn't even realize. And then during exams, I actually, I was holding the bottle. I was like, oh, it kind of goes red, orange and pink. I'm not really sure if you can see. Like if you get closer, I'm going to try to show it to you. I'm not sure if you can see. Magic Mushrooms has, like the name suggests, a note, a very interesting note, which is mushrooms. It does have, it's very, it's a very aromatic, quite green fragrance, okay? It's gonna have cannabis, it has, I believe it has cassis, it has patchouli, it has, it has a lot, it has like green notes as well. I like it in a very, very weird way because I love my gourmands. This is definitely not gourmand and it kind of, it does have a mushroom smell. Now, I know that some people absolutely hate mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Like, put mushrooms on everything. And they say, I love mushrooms. I love olives. I love lots of things. Like, when it comes to food. But I love mushrooms. Especially on pizza. Like, for me, if pizza doesn't have mushrooms, I'm like, mm, I'm not a fan. It, like, it smells like it has the scent of mushrooms. But you're not going to smell just like mushrooms. When you get it very close... It's quite intense, like you, you can smell the, the mushrooms. But in the air, because this is how people are going to smell there, okay? It's very aromatic, earthy, a little bit green. 
even though it has green notes it doesn't have that like grass scent that i absolutely hate it's more like green aromatic you know and it kind of has a sweetness as well i'm not really sure from like where the sweetness is coming yes it's like an aroma it's very calming and very cozy but very unique like i feel like when you're wearing this one you're not gonna smell like mushrooms like yes it does kind of smell like mushrooms when you get close but people in there are not gonna be like did you eat some mushrooms like they're not gonna have the reaction do you know what i mean it's i sprayed it the first time i was like oh oh because when they, they told me they're gonna send me something um i only got like a discovery kit from them before so i didn't really work with the brand um and I, I didn't know what it's gonna be and then i saw magic mushrooms like okay let's see but in a very weird way i i really enjoy it i feel like this is this is definitely not the type of fragrance for someone that is just starting okay the perfume journey this is an artistic but very wearable fragrance okay like if you're into proper niche if you're into something that is completely different you don't want anything that's similar to other fragrances nothing on, that's on the market i think this is gonna do the job because it's it's wearable it's definitely wearable but it's very unique it's like i love it in the air that's why i keep doing this I'm, I'm gonna stop doing this okay like i like it when i smell it like close to the paper strip but i do really like it in the air in the air it's not that much mushroom it's more like aromatic green with a little bit of mushroom and earthy but not dirty you know like how earthy perfumes can be dirty this one is not dirty i do like it i do i do actually really enjoy it it's the most it's probably one of the most unique perfumes i have in my collection and in a way it's very realistic mushroom but in the other way in the air it's not really like it's, it's not you're not gonna smell like mushrooms uh but yeah give it a try get a sample get a discovery give it a try okay give it a try because you might be surprised i i believe like i said this is just perfect for those people that want something different and unique boho boko magic mushroom uh next 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 we're having a leathery ambery gourmand kama from per noir this one this one is good it's more like again it's not full-on gourmand don't think full-on gourmand it has some blackberry if i'm not wrong some cotton candy but then you're having some leather you're having some amber i don't think is it always it's something almost powdery it's either iris or always it's definitely something a bit a bit tiny bit powdery as well i'm getting this like fruitiness but not in a juicy way like a cotton candy fruitiness okay with a smooth smooth leather and then i'm definitely getting the amber as well per noir again it's a house that if you want something super unique this is the house for you wearable all of them but very unique this is like summer nights yeah because it has it has a fruitiness but then it has something sexy going on even though it has leather it's very smooth and it's it's a very wearable leather okay i told you recently for the past year i believe i've been loving leather fragrances not the scratchy ones not the scratchy ones not the super intense ones the smooth creamy ones like the buttery ones I do really like it. It doesn't have any sandalwood because I checked, but for some reason I'm getting like I'm getting that creaminess, you know, that sandalwood has. I'm not really sure what it is that gives that creaminess, but I'm definitely getting some really creamy, buttery almost, with some like fruitiness, and the leather and the amber. Yeah, spring, summer evenings, something sexy. Kama from Pernod. Next, 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 next i am so excited i can finally talk about this fragrance because i've tested it in can last year it was not released if you go to can you have to book meetings with the brands uh but they're kind of showing you what they're gonna release at exams okay this one got released right before exams i believe like a day or two before and i had it it was on my shelf for like three weeks uh but they asked me not to talk about it before it's actually released so i was like okay fine, don't worry 
Finally, I can talk about it, Latte Mimosa from New Notes. You know, I love Latte Ticeri. I have um, Caramelo Vanilla. I have Cocktail Maracuya, um, Erotica Minimale. New Notes, it's a brand that is growing. It's a brand that is getting more popular day by day. Like last year, they released Latte di Cherry, which I love. This year, they released Latte Mimosa. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. For me, Latte di Cherry, it's, it's not necessarily cherry and milk. It's more like a sour cherry candy, very fun very fizzy i'm getting the exact same thing in this one with mimosa mimosa is a scent it's a flower that normally i would really really like i smelled a few fragrances that i didn't really enjoy uh but normally i really really like this the note of mimosa i really like this flower you can't really find it in many fragrances but when when it's there absolutely love it it's so beautiful. It's it's fizzy again. It's fizzy in a way. It kind it gives you cherry. I don't believe this one has cherry, but it gives you. Let me let me grab Latin cherry. One second. I will be back. I'm back. Uh, Latin cherry. Let me spray this one because I want to compare them side by side. Oh yeah, definitely we have a cherry, but the DNA. The DNA is there. The DNA is there. If you want a gourmand, but you're, you're more into like florals, go with Latte di Cherry. Like Latte di Cherry is the spring one. Uh, Latte di Cherry is the fall winter one. Latte Mimosa is the spring summer one. I love both of them. I love both of them. I actually, I think I love Latte Mimosa a bit more just because I do have so many cherry fragrances in my collection, but I don't have anything like this. I would 100% give it a go. Like, it, it's good. It's good. It's fizzy. It, it kind of almost gives you cherry, but it's not cherry. But the DNA definitely has a very similar DNA, but this one definitely has mimosa, which I love. It's beautiful. You need to try it. You absolutely need to try it. A Latte Mimosa from New Notes. Now, moving on to some fragrances that I got at Exxon's, okay? New release, again, that I've smelled in Con From Scentologia, yes, the ones that have Synergy, that it's an amazing mango scent, uh, Immortal Potion. This time, we're having a black bottle. I love the sprayers, like, that's a very nice sprayer. You know, I don't like when you have a spray and just like it's pit on you like I, I like i'm like what are you doing i like when it's like a nice fine mist mm -hmm. right immortal potion it's a floral ambery scent you're having ylang ylang with jasmine you can definitely smell both i probably i can smell more jasmine than ylang ylang but i can smell the ylang as well you're getting like a fizzy fruitiness on top, which is pear, if I'm not wrong. It does have other notes, but these are like the main notes I'm smelling, okay? And then the dry down, like in the base, not necessarily just a dry down, but in the base, I'm getting this like ambery vanilla. It's just that elegant, sophisticated, a bit sexy, a bit more than just a bit, like quite sexy fragrance. It's ambery, it's floral, it's a little bit fruity as well. Yeah, it's it's perfect for, I would say fall and winter, daytime, spring, nighttime. It definitely has something sexy. I think amber in general is sexy. Depends what kind of amber, like what kind of fragrance. Because some of them, if they're like going too balsamic or with way too many resins, I don't like that. But this one is like a floral amber scent. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's pear. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's pear. But it's just something like bright, you know, on top. So it's not just like a boring floral scent. It has something bright in there. Beautiful scent. I, I love Scentologia. Uh, the team is absolutely amazing, honestly. Best team ever. At Exxon's, they were, if they're watching this, this video, I want you to know. 
they were the most prepared. I swear to God, they were the most prepared because I would go to other brands, uh, maybe that I don't work with, but I wanted to, and uh, nobody knew that I have a meeting and they were just trying to like figure out. No, they had people hired for the event. All of them were there. They had like a tablet with a list of everyone who's coming, what they're doing, if they're buyers, if they're content creators, if they're distributors, what collection to show them, what scent in particular. They were the most prepared, well done, honestly, amazing. Other brands were just, I was just waiting there for like 20 minutes and everyone was ignoring me, even though I had a meeting booked. Anyway, uh, Scentologia Immortal Potion, you need to try this brand. You need to try this brand because it's such, such an underrated brand and I've tested more from it and they honestly, they have amazing, amazing scents. Moving on. I cannot believe it's here. Actually, it's not even released yet, but I've got the test bottle, okay? I didn't steal it, I promise you, I didn't steal it uh, because some people were stealing testers the last day. Uh, I've seen it with my own eyes. Uh, but I got it. was literally the last bottle that was available there. And I didn't ask for it. I just want to say hello because uh, during those four days at Exans, we saw Mo a billion times, but he was that busy. So literally 15 minutes before closing on the last day, he was free. So I just went there to say hello. Because I feel like, you know, when you're working with someone, uh, it's nice to say hello. Even though you don't, like, you're not buying anything new, even though you still, you know the collection. All the time you should go and say hello and see how they're doing with this fragrance i smelled it before it wasn't even finished okay he had like a small vinyl um in can again and he asked me if i like it i was like i love it he changed it a little bit and i actually prefer it i i actually love it even more now are you ready you know how i said i'll maz from Kajal is my favorite one. I didn't even, did I say the name? It's Icon. That's the name and that's the bottle. This is like top five new releases that I've smelled. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. Okay, let me explain to you. I'm not really sure because it's not me released, but I've seen the notes somewhere. So I hope the notes are correct, but I think they're correct because it's what I'm smelling. This one has passion fruit. It has pineapple. It has mandarin orange. It does have, um, I believe it's jasmine. It does have vanilla, praline. Do not think Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi, or do not think that. No, this is passion fruit and vanilla with a touch of mandarin. I'm not really getting the pineapple. I don't know. It, it's a sweet pineapple. That's the thing. It's not the pineapple that's in La Mar. It's a sweet pineapple. It's mainly this super sweet passion fruit. Like if you like Almaz, it's kind of kind of that type of sweetness almas for me is like whipped cream and raspberry extremely extremely creamy whipped cream vanilla raspberry this is what i'm getting with this one it's mandarin with lots of passion fruit the vanilla and then it, there's something creamy as well Ma have sandalwood it doesn't have whipped cream it has praline it's so good it's so good it might be my favorite one it might be uh, Okay, we're gonna decide today which is the favorite child from the Almaz family. The new icon or Almaz? Let me spray Almaz. Look at the bottle, it's almost empty. It's literally here. I cannot choose. Nah, I can't choose. No, I can't I can't choose. Those two are oh, it's gorgeous. Oh god, it's gorgeous. I can't choose no. No, those two are just... Mm, 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 mm. They're amazing. When it's released, run. Usually I don't tell you to like blind buy things like that, but with Icon from Kajal, run. It's amazing. 
honestly it's 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 amazing i absolutely love it yeah top five from the new releases that's right at the and trust me i smelled a lot i smelled a lot moving on i've got some trouble sizes two fragrances from gritty again they're not released yet they're gonna be released very very soon and i need a bottle especially of this one the bottle is gorgeous i'm gonna insert a picture in here it's bright pink it's it's so cute and it's it's amazing i love the bottle i love love that bottle hysterica from gritty and i see when i, I smell one go oh as well i'm waiting for a bottle yeah <laughs> that one is something else wait for the next video okay wait for the next video because i'm gonna feature some other fragrances that you need you need period you need hysterica it's amazing it's extremely unique it's bubblegum pink because it has a note of bubblegum this one is bubblegum with super rose honey and then you have some boozy notes as well it does have other notes but these are the main ones when you first spray it you can definitely smell honey and bubblegum then slowly it turns into more like a floral you can't really smell the super rose when you first spray it and this Booze, it's like honey and booze together mixed with bubblegum and tuberose. Brilliant. Who who did that in the past? Nobody. Like yes, bubblegum tuberose makes sense, honey and booze makes sense, but then together it smells it smells amazing. It smells very good. You need to be into boozy fragrances, you need to like obviously white flower fragrances, like you need to like these notes. If you don't like the notes, might not be for you, but if you love the notes. I just love if you like the notes like i like obviously who doesn't like bubblegum come on i really like super rose i really like honey and this is not an animalic honey it's like a sweet like sweet honey um and then some boozy fragrances i like them when they're not too boozy and this is definitely not too boozy it's just the perfect blend the perfect mix it's beautiful it's beautiful it's unique it's fun it's yeah this is i'm going to mykonos and i'm gonna have fun yeah, like I would wear this one, like Ibiza, Mykonos, places like that. You know, like booze for fun, but yeah, it's amazing. I love it. Next one, a bit more. It's not like the other one is not elegant, but this one is definitely very, very elegant. This one is uh, Monica. If you like floral sweet feminine fragrances you're gonna fall in love with this one because it has lychee it has peony and it has jasmine it does have other notes we don't care about them because these are the main notes as soon as you spray it you can smell the lychee it's sweet it's fruity but then you're getting this mix between peony and jasmine extremely feminine again quite young it smells young it smells not juvenile but it smells young spring amazing this is gonna be amazing for the springtime i feel like hysterica you can wear it like all year round maybe not winter but spring summer fall definitely you can wear it monica is more like spring summer it's such an elegant sophisticated not fun but again like has something almost like innocent about it you know um really 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 like this one as well and the last one is from hubiga Paris. probably pronounced that wrong and this one is petal du magnolia again french is the language french is the only latin language that i'm just like god i, I really struggle with hubiga I'm gonna be honest, their DNA is a bit more classic, but this one, I love it because it has a pear note, which is unbelievable juicy. Mm -hmm. You heard me correctly. You can smell it. It's a very, very strong pear note. I've been looking for a pear fragrance for ages. like. Yeah, we had one from um, Ariana Grande, but it wasn't really that much pear. This one is pear and magnolia. I don't know the other notes. I don't care about the other notes because this one is smelling. But it's mainly pear. 
it's, it's it's beautiful it's fun like fun but elegant at the same time and like come on it's pear like do you know what i mean like where can you find a pair a good pair of fragrance that doesn't smell like chemicals like yeah maybe like body sprays but they don't really smell expensive like this one smells super expensive listen who we got it's a it's a perfume house that it's it's been around for a very long time and it has like a history behind and it's very very i don't know french it's very french okay it's very it has that french style so this one don't think like it smells so good and so well blended and so feminine elegant but still that pair like it's a bit of fun it's something that you don't find you pretty much don't find any like you can't find it in any other fragrances and obviously you're getting the magnolia as well which it's a flower that i like i don't love it but i like it but in this mixture i really like it so yeah good new releases and trust me you didn't you didn't hear me talking about the other ones that I don't know the know. It's literally there are going to be some brands that I've, I've never heard before. Like I, I had no idea that they exist. And then I smelled the fragrances and especially the new one. And I'll be like, you're amazing. You are amazing. I need, I need, I need to smell everything they have because you're amazing. And I need to tell people about this brand because you know what? I'm going to be like, what I'm trying to do here on YouTube i'm trying to present to you all the time new brands i don't want to repeat myself a billion times i don't want to show you the same 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 perfumes and same brands as everyone else some people are saying that oh you're promoting so many other brands like this is too much and nobody is telling you go and buy it nobody's telling you it's forcing you to buy anything to like anything do you know what i mean it's like if you enjoy perfumes if you if you're always interested not necessarily, some people are not even like buying full bottles they're just like testing samples if this is just like a hobby you just like to smell new things like you don't have to buy the bottle but you just you're just interested in, in other perfumes as well not just what's on the market like but for the marley Zerjov, uh initial all of this i love the brands killian i love the brands but everyone talks about them i don't want to be i i'm going to talk about them as well but i don't want to talk just about them i want to promote other brands as well i want you guys to find that other brands as well expensive affordable you're gonna see in the next video um i'm gonna have a very very big difference like a very affordable ones but very and also very expensive ones it depends on what you're looking for like for me um hubiga has a good price point boho boko new notes obviously you have the ones that are a bit more expensive it depends I like perfumes that are £20 and I like perfumes that are £500 um, and I just want all the time to kind of like mix them maybe not necessarily in this video, I don't have anything that's £20 um, but yeah, in the next one you're gonna see a big difference, a big price difference but also I love the cheap ones, the affordable ones and I love the very expensive ones as well um, anyway, I'm rambling again that was it for today, let me know let me know in the comments down below. I'm just gonna show you a little bit what's coming next, okay? I don't have the notes. I don't have the, the notes and I can't talk about them. We have this bottle here. Can you see it? Look at that. It has like shimmer inside. Be ready. Be ready. We have, are you ready for this? Sneak peek. Look at this next time okay in the next video i have many things in here that i'm gonna show you in the next video anyway that was it for today thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next one bye bye